Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? Time for our tale of the tape. It's Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs, 183 centimeters tall, weighed in at 73 kgs with a reach of 187 centimeters. It's the Miracle Man, Daniel Jacobs, six foot tall with a... Here comes the Miracle... Here comes the Miracle Man, Daniel Jacobs. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. This is the night. Everybody's looking forward to this night. The hit. And there's the bell for round one. Insane action. Through the hook, didn't land. Nice counter. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. You have certain fighters that are born for this, that are made for the big crowd. And looking at corner right there, that is that fighter right there. They have elevated, lifted. It's like they're not touching the ground. This is what they were born for. That left shot lands. <laughs> Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. That punch lands. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Good round, I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to... Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Got his gloves up to block the left jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. He parries away that left hook. Blocks that jab. Oh. 
Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just gets out of the way of that right upper. Right? Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. The middleweights are the best we can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights for a middleweight are ridiculous? That is what writes our history books. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? When you think bell rings and we start the third. A script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. <laughs> Trying to answer back. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Why aren't they defending? That left scores. Exchange here from both men. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to Here's the bell for round four. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. He misses with that jab. Miss with that jab. No rest for the weary. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. Oh, 
Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Look absolutely exhausted. What are they gonna tell him in the corner? He's gone. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump up. And every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down. Body in it. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there and finish it. He's ready. Back into the fray here in round five. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fights. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Courage on display here is incredible. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to quick burst, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's gonna be absolute uproar. Here we go in the sixth round. Carries that right jab away. Both men step back for just a moment. You've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood tug. That's what you've got to look at. If you've been hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Missed him with that uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. He parries that left jab away. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy. Because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot. And that's when they catch you. They 
call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. He is down big time on the score. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Here we go, it's round seven. And he misses with that jab. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. heard the phrase finding a second win i don't think i need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it some nice exchanges from both men in this round another scoring shot there about punches and bunches that's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed i've never seen a fighter so fast in my life how'd you deal with this you've got to hope you've got to hope they will out of steam you can tell he's stronger but he's not faster He just misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made look so, so easy. Round eight, and we're off again. Through the left uppercut, but it misses. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, tongue to tongue with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Right hand just misses. Both men step back for just a moment. They gotta watch out for that uppercut. We're not seeing a lot of defense. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. He needs a knockout without a doubt. He needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink.
gets to up here and they start tearing up. And we enter the night. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Oh, what a punch! lands right punch nice exchanges from both men in this round you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He misses with that jab. Neither <laughs> man really defending themselves. Gets out of the way of that left hand. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the dog out. We've made it to round 10. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Job by him to block that jab. Tried to score with the jab. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges score cards. exchanges from both men in this round. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters like this and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He blocks the jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it.
is ready to go. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. Five. There's the bell for round 11. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Good left hand. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just missed with that left jab. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Good right hand. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. And there's the bell to start round 12. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Blocks that jam. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Swing and a miss with the hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a cut. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. This is the dangerous 
One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. He blocks the uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, that's a bit of a surprise there, Johnny. This fight ends in a draw. A draw? Ooh, listen to that crowd. Nobody's happy with that. Why? Because the build-up was ridiculous. The things that were said were ridiculous. But these two fighters were evenly matched. And this is why we've got a draw. One thing is for certain, they're going to do it all over again.